So, thanks guys again for joining us for the Budo League. This is the second set between Clan IR30 and Clan Virus's Team 1. Joining me is uh, my co-caster and analyst, the Horoshu Clan's Dakubaru. How you doing, Daku? Doing great, and you yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, today's matchup is between uh, here in the creamy white and green, uh, Clan Virus's Baum, and his opponent in the dark red and black, IR30's Jean Lanz. Uh, Daku, let's go through the unit compositions. Alright, let's start off with Virus, Bomb. So we have two Yari Cavalry, two Katana Cavalry hiding in those woods at the left side. Um, we've got some strong matchlocks. We can see two matchlock warrior monks, Vets 9. A spear force of two Naginata Samurai and one Naginata Warrior Monks. And we can also see a uh, strong sword for some katana samurais and lone sword units, vets 9 as well. So I'm missing the bows again, but let's move on to Jean Lance. We can see he has a light cavalry unit in skirmish mode, blending in with the bow Shigaru he has. I don't know why. We'll have to see. He has some spear force of Yari Ashigaru vetted and Yari samurai as well. Sword Force, we can see some Lone Sword Vets, and a Great Guard unit, and a Katana Samurai. Um, well, he's missing Matchlocks, and the other guy missing Bows, so he has the range advantage, and we'll have to see. He, now, um, Jean Lanz does get this forest here on the left side of his deployment zone. Do you think it's likely he's got more cavalry hidden in there? Yes, I think he has some cavalry units in hiding in there. Okay, and we are on um, lowlands, which I yes. don't believe we've seen yet. And um, we do have three capturable buildings, the Shrine for Morale, the Archery Dojo for reload rate of missile units, um, which is almost completely useless, <laughs> and the Sword Dojo uh, for melee attack. Um, I don't think so. I think that the bow building is pretty good. It increases your reload rate and restores ammunition for nearby bows. Now, most fighting happens in the middle, so it would be in favor of Bomb if he had archers, of course. Actually, it would work with his matchlocks as well. Uh, he wastes his, wastes his ammunition, and he wants to restore it, so that's a good building to So take. it is a worthwhile building to take. Yeah. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. We should both be paused. We'll start in three, two, one, play. Now, what do you think the uh, what do you think the strategy is going to be for um, either of these players on this map we haven't seen before? Well, usually, as we can see, uh, Jean Lance rushes in for the um, center where the woodland is. That's usually what most players do because then you get the most cover of uh, ranged units. But we can see that bomb rushes in for the Nolly building as well, or is that the morale building? That's that's the Nolly building. Um, and obviously we can see Jean Lance rushing in for the morale building. And we do see Jean Lance did have a Great Guard unit and a Katana Cavalry unit hidden in that forest. Yes, and he tries to scare bomb away with his light cavalry unit. So it looks like it's going to be a long period of maneuver for both players here at the beginning. Yes, he's getting too close there, I think. All right, but he's careful to. You know, Gary Cavalry just charges inside. straight into those uh, light cavalry, yes. and they do knock the morale down quite a ways, but they do take a volley as well. Well, he lost. How much is it? He lost eight men to. The Light Cavalry is chasing them, and I can't imagine that's a good idea, they're wavering now. I don't think they're really chasing them, that's a bug happening there. Oh, okay. Maybe constantly. But yeah, that was a good move by Jean Lance, but trying just to, you know, scare him away a bit, so he can capture that, um, that missile building as well. Yeah, so Jean Lance does secure the middle of the field, Damn having to give it up. Yes, however, he did ignore 
that morale key building, which I don't know why he did that. Well, he may yet go back and get it, but uh, Maybe. Baum is going to capture this uh, sword dojo, which is going to be very useful for his strong sword force, correct? Yes, that's correct. And I don't know what's Baum's plan, really. He's just playing around with his cavalry. Just keeping his opponent off balance, making him think about... Uh, it doesn't interrupt so much. I mean, he has his spears lined up, ready for to take him out. Now John Lanz is sending forward his Great Guard unit and his Katana Cavalry unit. Two Great Guard units now. <laughs> Over to his right flank. Yeah. And it looks like that Baum is just content to capture this Sword Dojo and then move out or wait for John Lanz to come to him. I think John Lance is not gonna give up his position. He has a woodland in the center. That's pretty much a good position to be in. But now he pulls off the forest. It seems. So I'm still not sure what's going on here. Yeah, it's a bit strange. You can see that yeah, Baum is see. is moving a force back across the river. And his matchlocks do move forward and fire a volley at the Yari Samurai on the front line. With increased range and an increased reload rate. And they That's pretty reload. do do quite a lot of damage, certainly. Yes. That's almost 30 men down. Wow, the range on those matchlocks is insane. Here comes the unit of Great Guard to try and take him out. Yes, I'd love to see if he notices. And Baum is sending the attack in on the on his right flank around the archery dojo now. And oh, he gets shot by the other matchlocks. So that's good work from Baum, keeping matchlocks covered yeah, with matchlocks. And now he's sending in the Yari cavalry to try and clean up the great guard. The great guard are now wavering. We do see a useless spear charge in the center there by Baum. I'm not sure why he did that. In evening swim and combat. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like the Great Guard got routed. Oh, so that's that's, that's, that's certainly not good for Jean Lanz. Good play by uh, Baum. He does now to put, keep keep up the pressure on Jean Lanz with his cavalry. Now Jean Lanz sure. is yes. very slow to move things from the from his right side over to the left where all the action is happening. I think he's still worried about this large force from Baum sitting by the sword dojo. E even as even, a, even as his left flank is um, collapsing out from under him. Yeah, I think he's pretty confident that he can win this fight. He does have cavalry behind Baum now, um, going to do some damage it seems. There is a unit of Nag Naginata Samurai there. And they eat a volley! That was... <laughs> that was attempt to take the matchlocks out. And the Katana Kev is out, I guess. They Pretty are now wavering. Our general is in grave danger, my He does charge his general with the Great Guard. <laughs> doing whatever he can to make this attack work. The war cry does go out, it seems, from the warrior monks. Yeah, and you can see Baum charges his Yari cavalry at Sean Lan's spears in Tor Y. That's not such a good move to do. Um, Jean Lan's flank is wavering, and his cavalry force is pretty much done. I can see if this goes to Baum's favor. It certainly seems that way for now. If he's about, if he can clean up this great guard behind the line, then he has a lot of units that he can throw into the fight at the front. Our general has yes, been injured. But his general just got killed by the Great Guard, so that's good play from Jean Lyons. Yeah, that's a very good play. And that, that will even things up. It will even things out. Can... Yes. Um, we but he has, he has taken a lot of casualties, a lot of his units have routed, and um, Baum still has a lot of units up, so... Who knows, this may, be irre this may not be recoverable. Yes, like you can see now on the right or left flank, 
where a uh, bomb charges his cavalry at Jean Lan's swords from the back. That's a pretty hard units, my moral Lord. damage. And now that, meant to ambush us. That's gonna cause him to rout. And there it goes. Yes. Um, what else is going on? Well, there's still a melee happening on the other side of the river. And Jean Lance charges his general straight at Titanic cavalry. So, uh, if he's not a sword general, that would be a tough decision to do. And we do see the general is wavering. And I think Jean yep. Lance is going to lose. And the last of Jean Lance's uh, units across the river have fled. The general has fled. There's only this unit of Boa Chigara remains. That means that's a pretty solid win for Bao. Yeah, that's a good game. My lord, their general has fallen! Yeah, I think Jean Lance lost it because he tried too much ambitious cavalry charges. I and think he was a bit him. too slow to react to that attack on his left flank. He was happy to leave units on the other side of the river and not actually prevent that attack on the left flank. I would say he would be busy playing with his cavalry around uh, Bones' forces. But still, he did sacrifice his cavalry and that's not a good thing. And I think that caused him to lose control of the match. Fair enough. So, Baum takes this game. And because the second replay was never saved, I can happily tell you that uh, Baum won the second game and took the set for uh, the Virus Clan's Team 1 over IR30, putting the Virus Clan's Team 1 two sets to nil over IR30.